Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary... Ar no, it's not Iron Man, it's just legendary um, blind playthrough of the game. Uh, we are ready to do another defense mission this time. Readying all of our defenses in Born in the USA. Which is our base in the USA. Surprise, surprise. Alright, we started. So, what's the good word? Enemies are already at our doorstep. That's Ready to not roll. good. Receiving. Let's start with the most important first person, which is Julius here. Julius actually makes sure that everybody else is faster. Good. I'm prepared. Here goes. I'll wait here for a second because maybe war cry is needed. Ready to roll. Ready to rock. Ah, I can't really hit them very well. Catch me if you can. I can see them. Okay, more enemies are coming in. I just... What? We do have... Ooh. That is a Siren Helion. I think that was one uh, which focused more on... On... Mind control. Oh, another siren. Well, we're getting out of the way. Channel open. I can already say this is a no regret move. Can't let the siren go in here. Rolling out. Ready to engage. Close to go for the leg. Hmm, not a bad idea. But disabling the arm means he can only and exclusively use his um, Nothing's getting spit past attack. Me. That was a warning shot. Uh, mm. Not great. I'll be right there. Hey, we're better off here. Oh, we actually are. Okay, fantastic. Good. There's the decoy. Deal with it. We'll, we'll be moving behind that wall because we need it for our war scream abuse. Thanks to our really quick movement, we'll be able to dash to here or even here next turn and then have a good firing position. Ready to roll. So as it stands, I think we're okay. Let's hope we're not getting mind controlled immediately. Oh, 
Viper has frenzied everyone. That Helion came in and has now seen us, so... That is going to be a problem. Next time, you're mine. All right. Well, they have breached uh, the parameter. Now it's time for us to get them down. Need a better position. That should have done better. I'm on the move. Move all the way in, and then <sighs> hitting all of them with a scream. That's good. Okay, ignore that guy for a moment. Come on. We need to kill the intruder and I do it with a snipers because I think the they have the return fire ability. And naturally that is quite devastating with uh, out really big armor. I was born ready. Okay, we can deal with that guy. Actually quite happy with our position here. That is very much out of line of sight. Target. And he's now dead, which is important. So we still had... Our overwatch over here. Don't want to move in to then let them move in, mind control and move out. Mind control is just one one turn. And I think given their position there, we're in a better spot yeah, here to then move out, shoot, move in, rinse and repeat. We could use him for the speed buff. Unfortunately, no mind control yet. Holding position. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Pretty much as Overwatch as possible. The sirens are a problem. Failed to connect there.
good hits. Disabled the arm. That is a problem because we can no longer use our gun. That's a bit of a bummer. Do we have anything else that we could do? I mean, look, let's just let her just be the medic for now. Channel open. Ready to fire. Just a really, really strong heavy weapon. Appreciate that. Pins are gone. Nothing past me. Ready to go to work. I don't miss. Let's have a look. That's unlucky. Taking point. I'll get him next time. Yeah, we're just shooting ready to the fight. shield here. That, that's a bit the brute force uh, method. Let me catch my breath. We're trying to go for a new clone. And we're refreshing Frenzy. Okay. I'm prepared. to get too close because that would mean they can mind control us currently we're out of line of sight nothing's getting past me yes it's my turn oh should have yeah should have just recovered anyways might as well do the best out of it uh, out of it, which is overwatching. Them. We do have a one-handed weapon. Yeah, we do with the snipers, but they are better at it and would need it. It's a shame to leave one operative with a broken arm. It would be cool if you have the option to then just shoot with one arm, but basically make it more action points. I'll get him next time. What's our plan? We do not have enough will points here, so I'll actually regain will points. Unfortunately, that always takes four turns. I think that's purposefully designed, but it's still unfortunate. Identifying target. Hit his tour is so interesting. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Yes. Just give the word. Sure thing. Uh, 
Well, That's those shields are quite exposed now. Come get some. Still trying to hit the p uh, pincer. Okay, I need a different position. Would be great if we had cover over here. I'm on the move. Just reducing the armor right of the shield so that next turn. We can actually destroy it. Already there. Lining up a shot. Good hits. Here comes the Phoenix. She would be, Maria would be a fantastic, a fantastic contributor. Reloading. All right. Okay, now we're in the mode uh, of needing to like turn. alternate shouts, which means the heavies Down are doing open. exactly that. First and foremost, war shouting. Yeah, and then unfortunately we can't do much because it takes three actions Let's to show do what anything. We can do. Good, getting the tail down. That's helpful. Next time Julius can help us even more. I'm here. There we go. Sure thing. Without your shield, you're not looking as tough, buddy. I'm here. Identifying scratch one. Um. Ready to engage. Good. On the watching. Receiving. Have nothing Ready, to heal. I'm on the move. Target located. Okay, they bring in mine suckers, which. I was uh, sort of expecting, but we should be fine. All right. Good. 
That's a nice little hit. Reloading. Reloading. And Hussein continues. Well, our snipers are carrying this. Just give the word. Really solid defense. You're gone. Now it's a good time for reload and for a big fat Overwatch. Nothing's getting past me. Infected by virus. Here comes the Phoenix. Okay, and we got War Shout. War Shout plus Overwatch. On the move. More Overwatch. Good. Channel We're open. holding the base uh, with the Overwatching uh, with Warshout technique here. Alternating Warshout. We're actually doing quite well for ourselves. Not a lot of uh, damage that is coming through, but we're slowly but surely getting there. Closer, still out of line of sight. I wish you could somehow shoot through the walls. We don't have a lot of great indirect weapons here. Area covered. And the aliens Nothing will get past me. are now just hunkering down. My turn. Good, we're regaining points again. Wash out as per the usual. That thing clocks up more and more. Uh, vi uh, viruses, so that's actually fine. Guess it's my turn. Ready. I'll be right there. Okay, nothing on this side. We'll get there very soon. For now, it's a matter of being patient. I hope I get them. It's a bit of a stall, mate. 
Not a gigantic one, but a bit of a stalemate. Isabel has done a very nice job there. Can't wait. What's our plan? We are war crimes again. And the heavies, I think, are just at that point moving over here. They are indirectly the focus war cry batteries. I won't have any time left over to Let's do anything do else with them. Shot. Good, Julius moves up as well. Area covered. Another part which becomes a bit more difficult because we are no longer having the support of our snipers in a second. And we need to go in because they are not going to come. We're starting with the absolute necessary stuff, which is regaining points and <laughs> shouting. So 40 is effectively dead. So Here I am. Let's do this. closer. Let's show them what we can do. Sets up a clone. Holding position. Overwatches. Everybody's frenzied. We're moving up as well. Receiving. And I'll even put one of the snipers up there just for more damage because I think we'll need it. Nothing's getting past me. Okay. The siren actually isn't doing much at the moment. Come get She has an acid spray here. That's of course the biggest problem is uh, the head. But center torso hits aren't bad either. Ready to rock. Yeah, that was. Did, did he really just miss that? No escape, Phoenix. Switch. Rolling. All right, moves back. I'm ready. Ready to engage. Ah. 
Good damage with the rifle. Right there. I like that. And also good damage from Julius. I like that as well. Receiving loud and clear. Healing action points. Recovering. And end of game. I'll be right ready to engage. It seems to try to flee, but that's a future left for it now. All right, can't go around the corner. Right on time. We killed them all. All right, I think I got the base uh, defenses down to the T. Um, with our new uh, defense mechanism, there it's actually working very well. Five hundred is great. Everybody got five sp uh, skill points. And it seems that we even got a couple of promotions out of it. So it wasn't bad. That wasn't all bad. What I like the most about uh, the tactic is it only requires two uh, people to uh, circle that through and with more willpower would be even better. It was costing us quite a bit of resources, fair enough, but I think... Now looking at the Borna in the USA type of uh, team, we got ourselves a nice upgrade. Second class here, can't get that yet. Oh, that would give a minus four willpower. 25% damage. I don't think that we want to do that at the moment. Matter of fact, let me suggest we're just upgrading hit points because these guys are ultra weak at this point uh, at this moment Got another level here, mind control, no brainer, absolute powerhouse ability. That one is great, but we don't have the uh, the points yet. What I am suggesting is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's more hit points, but also more willpower, which is his casting stat. Um, this one is another no-brainer, really strong. And a bit of strength upgrade, cool. Well, look, overall, actually quite good. Uh, what I've forgotten is our prime team does have some mounted upgrades. Oh, okay, when you do have a cyber torso, that won't work. Why? Why? Why doesn't it work? I don't understand. drinks maybe having that shield doesn't allow to do that okay good our front detection units 
should be able to see enemies through the wall. So for Shattered Realm that's important. For Jarenx I like uh, the moves the fog out of the way kind, uh, kind of uh, deal. He and the Butcher owns. That is great. Uh, I think we're going to do that in a second. Wanted to make him, if I recall correctly, kind of the explosion uh, guy. No. no, 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 I was incorrect. He is one of the melee guys, but five times shooting sounds good as well. And willpower here, plus bonus healing does sound good as well. In any case, um, being in melee, he can't take that. Oh, because of his headpiece. Okay, okay, I see. Well, I still would use the headpiece because Frenzy is helpful. Um, let's wait before uh, specking him. Snipers are taking the perception one. Grell takes that one. And I know that Grell was the one Given her adrenaline rush, where we wanted to have a uh, uh, boom blast. Oh no, we, I don't even know if we wanted to have boom blast. We wanted an adrenaline rush and then like uh, shooting explosives. So she's going to be the explosive one, but I think we wanted to wait for rage burst. He does have sprint, so. Uh, a dash rather, so that would work out nicely. I think JP Pauly were going to transfer into the prime team as well. It's the highest level. Uh, technician. Yeah. Okay, well, could spend hours in managing all of the troops. Like I said, it is so micromanagement intensive. That would be one of my points of modest criticism of the game. In terms of bases here, we are now like completely tapped out. Born in the USA, however, is still standing, which is good. I like it. We're, we have done well. Uh, there is a second training facility coming up anytime soon, which is good. This repeller is also happening. Uh, but now what we want to do is move a person, or seen in this case, because you already have quite a few levels under your belt, into... The Sky Ranger, or Manticore as it is called here. So do we get anything better out of, uh, out of this? Because we already got plus four. Apparently yes. Arthron Tyrant Prime. Okay. Arthron Umbra. Unknown Arthron Hybrid created contest with large amount of protein uh, mutant gas. According to observers, creature reveals itself threatened and instantly engages in melee combat. Boo. Not good. The next wor version of that thrower. Launch capsulated of organic goo, preventing movement in large areas. <laughs> okay. Biological explosives at large dis uh, distance. Okay. It seems as if we're getting slammed with even worse items. Uh, enemies. So. 
Let's do that scavenger site in the next mi uh, in the next episode. We're already forty minutes in. Well, let's do that because it'll give us uh, much needed resources. We're going to clear out uh, that Pandorian layer, which will be good. And I would like to then also start dealing over here with the layers. In order to do that, I would need a flight overpass. So we need to enable Alaska Snow. But wait a second, just out of curiosity, okay? Could you fly over here? You could, okay. Hmm. Something, by the way, is happening when, when we're just leaving uh, Tiamat here. I want to observe that and see if the protein gas production reasonably increases. Um, once again, maybe one of these situations where you need one aircraft uh, per field here um, with just a soldier in, in them to continue harvesting these uh, things. You don't need an entire team. Instead, they could get um, experience. Matter of fact, if you just look at the Tiamat team, some of them would actually benefit from a bit of experience. So uh, we could do the dangerous move and uh, putting them here, pick up the buggy, fly up there, and then they'll just sit here for now. If it would be any other aircraft, then this like super slow um, Tiamat aircraft, I would actually be in favor of doing that. But as it stands, that's not a good idea. But what we could do is our third team, Manticore 3, to actually use the Manticore 3 in order to do that. And the third team could get experience in the bases because realistically, what we will now need is we'll need to clean out uh, the United States. That's where all of uh, the action is happening. We might want to bite the bullet now to let the Tiamat team fly over there. They can do that. There are missions here. Um, there are quite a few hives that they uh, could do. So the one thing that I will say though is it warrants a very general review of our teams. Okay, um, Tiamat currently is a functioning uh, functioning uh, unit, but it has quite a few berserkers in them. So that's a very melee heavy and melee centric team. Inappropriate Murphy who has been carrying them would be offloaded and instead we're getting A and Roth, um, who would be the new uh, part about, uh, of that team. We will need to find a good name for that character um, maybe another viewer but anyways point uh, point stands we do have uh, only one sniper here which is a bit low i would actually like to get a second sniper going well maybe one sniper is enough i don't know i mean it's eight people Nah, one sniper is actually not enough. Maybe we're multi-classing one of uh, these guys into sniper. Tyler's okay. Yeah, we do have too many berserkers, just too much melee force. It's generally not wrong or anything. We we can work with it because specifically since you can multi-class. But Haxor here, as an example, I would need to give uh, them quick aim and uh, extreme focus and potentially a completely different outfit, much lighter. I don't know if we go with the heavy weapons. Um, 
or if we just make him a sniper for now. He could fill that role, then we do have two snipers. Um, Natalia is filling it very nicely. You could even use that quick aim and heavy weapon together, so I can see a world where this is helpful. We just need, we just need uh, a bit more points. So we do have two snipers here is the bottom line. Uh, berserkers can be paired up uh, with almost anything. We need a little bit more range and uh, what I would want to add to that team and maybe drop one of the berserkers is a technician. So we got one in frozen circuit already level 3 and I guess one thing that you could that we could do is we could drop a berserk we could fly to frozen circuit right uh, drop uh, inappropriate Murphy and and uh, one of the berserkers and just pick up Vanessa and the priest. Okay, so that would, could be an option. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, we don't have enough technicians to go around for everyone, but I would like in the primary teams to have technicians. We got one technician there, two technicians, three technicians. Okay, so it's basically one technician short. Point that I'm trying to make is it gets a bit messy. We need new allocations of the teams and Tiamat, I think I'll trade out uh, Murphy for a different um, for a different individual. We do have um, for, for a different priest. I think the one here makes sense. He's already level three. We have a technician up here and then we can simply fly over here uh, to here. So there is another technician um, and then they would automatically be on uh, on the ship. So that team is good and flies to the US where it can uh, deal with uh, missions. Um, in terms of personnel in the US, I think they do have a fair amount of characters there. Got a priest, got a technician, even got an infiltrator, a few snipers. So overall, I th I think that's fine. That's an okay team, and we can uh, we can work with that. Um, which brings us to uh, Mandicore One, our main team. Um, that uh, will get JP poorly um, on uh, on top of uh, it and uh, inappropriate Murphy, and then. Uh, for me, that would be kind of the A team. Um, just need to get uh, potentially two aircrafts to uh, to fly together, um, but we're working on it. And for me, the A team should also. I, I want to build two heliuses so that the A team can like fly together. The freed up. Uh, the freed up. Um, what's it called? Manticore that the A team is currently using. I would. Put that together for team number three and team number three loses jp so is basically two snipers heavy assault and infiltrator i start liking the infiltrators a lot because uh, of the decoy that's a strong class i hope i can multi-class into them uh, so th that would be the core and they are picking up uh, the onesies and twosies here and there um, the two and frozen points so there would be a new uh, technician and a new, um, and, and not a new, and a um, priest. So they would actually be one, two, three, four, five, then the two, which means only one is missing. And I wonder, we, I think we have uh, one too many over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one. Yeah, we have one too many in, born in the USA. Um, yeah, as, as we get enough Manticores, but that is uh, deep deep into the campaign, we can pick up 
the remaining ones. And that yeah, kind of includes uh, the assumption that all, everyone is surviving. Maybe we're losing one or two over, uh, over the next course. I can definitely see that the enemy is ramping up. But yeah, now is a good time to consolidate the teams uh, with the knowledge that I've gathered, which means Tiamat uh, and Manticore are spending their best resources uh, to the Prime Team. Prime Team just upgrades uh, them and I want to uh, get them to level uh, to level seven and I really want to continue uh, doing missions with them so that uh, they get even more SP in, in the missions and then higher stats and so on and so forth. So uh, really appreciate that. By the way, Shattered Realm is already overloaded again. It's always the same with you, dude. Uh, I've upgraded your strength so many times. You're currently at 240 hit points. The fuck is wrong with you? Um, so that's the idea uh, for the uh, for the next time. I hope you like the plan and I hope you like the strategizing. If you want to strategize what's good for this channel, then maybe you consider moving a bit of your resources over that like button and strategize it to point upwards. Thank you for watching and see you in two days. Bye bye.